Hello and welcome to the Rikeri Dentist 32 Reasons Why. Now again, this is a requested video. Now in the third year DVDS oral pathology, we dread to study this subject and we find it difficult to memorize as we don't get to see the cases regularly in clinics, you know, unlike OSMF, leukoplakia, tobacco pouch keratosis. So, you know, first things first, I suggest that you refer Sheffer's oral pathology. Now, this is a Bible for the subject. So I suggest you refer this book. Also, I suggest that you refer, keep reference book always, whether in final year BDS or in third year just studying oral pathology, always keep two to three books, okay? Refer two to three books because in Burkitt, it has amazing and beautiful distinguishing features of the diseases, okay? Like how to differentiate aptus ulcer from herpes and all, you know, distinguish one disease from another. So that is given best in Burkitt. And also refer Anil Gom because it has very good classifications in well tabulated. So yeah, you refer that. Now, in a, you know, oral pathology in third year, you are expected to write the answers under the heading like classification definitions. Yes, this should be on the tip of your tongue. So epidemiology, incidences, etiopathogenesis, clinical features, histopath, radiographic features, prognosis, differential diagnosis and treatment. So yeah. But I suggest that you should be very much thorough with the definition, classification, clinical features, histopath and radiographic features. These are very important from theory and viva point of view because most of the things that the, you know, questions that are being asked, they revolve around these, you know, subtitles and also the examiners or the um, whatever the questions they ask in viva, they are oriented or they revolve around these histopath and clinical features. Let me be very clear with this that I'm not suggesting you to skip or leave some topics but we tend to forget things before exams of viva as we are very anxious and stressed. So these are the things that you get you can you know stress more on. You have to read everything throughout the year you know everything the sex predilection race predilection everything age associated with the diseases and all okay. But during viva and theory exam you should know what areas to focus on hence I made this video to tell you on what all things that you should more focus on for from exam point of view or viva point of view now it is merely possible to cover whole syllabus every detail a day before so be thorough with the classifications definitions you should also know etiopathogenesis okay you don't have to mug up the whole paragraphs and all you know just convert that etiopathogenesis into a small tabular form and small flow chart so that it is easy to retain in the memory so yeah so clinical features we were very thorough with histological and clinical features and radiographic features now coming to viva uh, most of the questions you know they ask from histopath and clinical features they want to know the classic clinical feature the classic histopathic feature and radiographic feature let's say they will ask uh, so bubble appearance is seen in or where do you see the sunburst appearance, honeycomb appearance, cotton wool appearance, what is floating tooth syndrome, why do we call it so, elephant leg retiriges are seen in leukoplakia, the classic dysplastic features or histopathological features of leukoplakia, you know, and they will and other names, this is again very, you know, important, you should know the other names of the disease, as synonyms, they ask them a lot you know self healing carcinoma other name for that syndromes they ask you triads try again a very important question or this is the um, you know examiner's favorite question like triads pierre robin syndrome what's the triad what do treacherous colon syndrome so the so syndromes hutchinson triads these are their favorite questions okay other names for anameloma what is anameloma what is the sex predilection for what then and why then um, also, you should know the incubation periods for bacteria and viral diseases and herpes is really very important in this. So, I'll make a separate video on this if you want to know the viva questions from each chapter. Yeah, I'll, be do, I'll do that. You can connect me on Instagram, dedicated dentist. So, yeah, let's get back to this. The most important thing is how do we retain what we study in oral pathology? Let me tell you something. I watched this Netflix series, Stranger Things. Okay, and there's this cast, Dustin. He's my favorite. So he revealed in one of his interview in uh, with the title the video with the title life with cleidocranial dysplasia and I got so inquisitive about it that I learned more about it not from textbook but from Google yes later I read from textbook also so now I remember each and every detail about cleidocranial dysplasia that is because I studied the case now you have will have to do the same to learn oral pathology Google up images x-rays see how the Pierre Robin face looks how the mandible is retruded in such cases 
what is glossoptosis see on google search for the terms and study from textbook alongside okay this way you'll never forget because we have picture memory you know we have visual memory we tend to remember more when we see more okay so visual learning is the best method for learning also whenever you are free or you are feel saturated from studying you draw histopathology diagrams and when you do so when you practice the hne diagrams alongside you write try to reminisce the clinical features along okay and thus you can you know link it up and understand it also when we link things we tend to remember more okay so this way you will remember things more so uh again i tell you that most important features that you have to remember is the classifications definitions etiopathogenesis clinical features histopathological and radiographic features now i'm not suggesting that you should not write about the differential diagnosis and treatment plan and all no you should mention like uh write one to differential diagnosis okay with reason and uh, also you can write about treatment if not in detail at least just write the titles okay like uh, for osteomyelitis you can just write hyperbaric oxygen therapy and uh, uh, so just write uh, steroids for lichen planus mention some one two that is enough yeah you don't have to waste much time or not wasting exactly but you don't have to write uh, much about it I found oral pathology very difficult too until university exams and then I got good scores well thanks to our dean a great personality he is so yeah he guided me and I aced exam very well so all the best guys happy studying share this with your friends hit like subscribe and thank you for listening patiently also do watch my upcoming video on oral lichen planners or if you want to know how i make notes and explain with ease so with that i sum up dedicated dentist signing off thank you